Good morning family. I am very big on speaking things into your life. I am very big on using the power of life and death that God has put into our tongue to speaking things into existence in your life. And we're going to talk about it today. I find that a lot of people struggle not by external influences, but they struggle and they suffer by con as a consequence, as a result of their own tongue that speaks death. Okay? Today we're going to look at Hebrews 11, 1 through 3. I want to focus on verse 3. The Lord says we have life and death in our tongue. You will eat the fruit thereof. So if I'm planting death, I will eat the fruits of death. If I'm planting life, I will eat the fruits of life. Hebrews 11 from 1 through 3. Let's read. 11 verses 1. Faith is the, faith is the substance of things hoped for. I want to stop there. Faith is the substance of things hoped for, which means that faith is the ingredient of whatever you want in your life. Faith is the ingredient. It is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen, which means the things that you want is already there and it is evident through faith. It comes to pass in the natural realm through faith. Let's go. For by it the elders obtained a good report. That tells me that the elders in all of their wisdom were use, was using faith to obtain a good report. They were having faith in something. It was evident. It came to pass and they obtained a good report. They, it came as evidence. It's like if people say, I'm hiring you to do this job. You go in there, you do the job, and you do it well. You obtain a good report. So faith is already there. It is the substance of things hoped for. If you use faith, you will surely see that faith. Um, it, it will turn into what the thing that you're hoping for. It is the evidence. Let's go. This is the verse I want to bring your attention to, fam. Through faith. Through faith. Through that substance, we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of God. It goes on to say, so that things which are seen were not made of things which do appear. Through faith, we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of God. Okay, that verse is so easy to just skip over but it is so powerful at the same time through faith we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of god that tells me that if i am a child of god if i the name am made in god's image and if he the almighty creator and sustainer of all things Form this world, these worlds, the natural world, the spiritual world, the heaven of heavens, huh? through his word, through faith, then why am I as a child of God, an inheritant of the kingdom of God, as, a, as, a, as the one who is made in the image of the one who formed the world, why am I not forming my world? through the word, through faith. Why? That is because we don't know how to. So this tells me that as God's child, made in his image, with the power of life and death in his tongue, I can form the world and the life that I want through faith, through the word spoken in my tongue. Because God already told me that there is power of life and death in my tongue. So does that mean, does that mean that if I am only seeing suffering and death and curses, could it be that I'm eating the fruit of the death that I've been speaking? Or does that mean if I'm only seeing growth from strength to strength and, 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 and prosperity in God and His promises, could it be that I'm eating the fruit of the words that I've spoken in life over my life? Yes, of course. Jesus says, whatever we ask of the Father in his name, it will be done. That verse goes on to say, and we skipped it, that is John 16. That verse goes on to say, 
Ask and he shall receive that your joy may be full. It also says, ask without hidden motive and you will be and be surrounded by your answer and that's the part I'll, I'll make another video about this that was left out in our bible ask believe through faith believe and you shall receive guys girls ladies gentlemen because <laughs> i don't want you to come with gender stuff here listen there is hidden secrets in god's word that we skip over so quickly and so easily. That is the, the, the just, that is the, the, the just of our faith. He said, through faith, we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of God. So it means that if that is my God, and I worship him and I served him, and he framed all these worlds just by his word through faith, which means I can form my little world by the word I speak into it through faith because I made in his image. Think about it. Think. God is faithful family. I encourage people, speak life into your life. Speak blessings over yourself. Speak goodness into your life and you will eat the fruit of what you speak okay thus i'm broke i'm tired i can't anymore i've had enough i can't take it those things i'm poor i'm so poor i'm piss poor those things you are eating the fruit of what you speak because our bible tells me that when i speak life through faith in god i can form my world the same way that the one in whose image I am made in, he formed all these words, worlds just by his word through faith. And that faith is the substance, the ingredient. It is the thing that makes the things to be done. <laughs> God bless you, family.